Global Safety Council presents Electrical Safety in the Laboratory Electricity is an integral part of today's labs. It's literally everywhere. Without it, operations would come to a standstill. So it's important that we know how to work with it safely. Accidents and equipment problems can cause electric shock or ignite flammable vapors. Performing equipment maintenance or making adjustments without taking proper precautions can result in serious injuries. And sparks from malfunctioning equipment can even cause explosions. So we need to know electricity inside and out. It's the only way to be safe. Let's begin by reviewing a few fundamentals. The force carried by electrical current is measured in volts. Most lab equipment runs on about 120 volts. Equipment requiring large amounts of electricity often runs on specially dedicated 240 volt lines. Current is the flow of electricity. The intensity of the current is measured in amperes, amps for short. The amount of current that an electrical line can safely hold can vary depending on the thickness of the wire. Most lines in a lab can safely carry 20 amps, but some equipment can require a lot more. You may have heard this before, but it's worth repeating. It's the intensity of current, it's amperage, not the voltage, that causes shocks. And it doesn't take much electricity to cause serious injuries. In fact, exposure to just 6 one-hundredth of an amp, the amount of electricity needed to power a Christmas tree bulb, can be fatal if it passes through your heart. So we need to exercise caution around electricity at all times. <laughs> 